All right, so after the freeze, I noticed something. Check this out. That's the main drain line. That's the, uh, the pipe that's coming off the kitchen sink. And it's cracked. Good times. There shouldn't be water in your drain pipe. The problem with us is where we're sitting, we're at a slight decline. The pipe isn't perfectly level. Instead of water freely flowing down toward the back of the bus, water collected in the very front of the drain pipe and uh, froze and busted it. Not only do we not have water, uh, we can't even drain water. So we're having a uh, we're having fun over here. Tons of fun. What's up guys? Does anybody want an in-depth look at what living in the bus in freezing temperatures looks like? Because it was two degrees last night. Two degrees. That's like, what's two degrees in Celsius? If zero is 32. So, Two degrees, zero. It's two degrees warmer. Yeah, we're gonna Google that and post. It was two degrees last night, and we don't have any supplies to make sure our water doesn't freeze. Turn the water off, so we don't have water to the bus right now. But we went ahead and filled up our water tank in the back, which was a plus. We have that, we do have a pump. But at about nine o'clock, I tried it and it wouldn't work. So I'm thinking that there's some frozen water in the plumbing inside the bus because it just got that freaking cold last night. So can't really use the water pump when the lines are frozen inside. Along with that, the front of the bus sits just a little further down than the back of the bus. And the reason that's important is because we have a main drain pipe for all three drains in the bus. It starts at the kitchen sink and it goes all the way back to the gray water tank. That drain is perfectly parallel with the bus. So if the front of the bus is sitting like this, then all that water is gonna collect at the front of the drain pipe and not drain down to the gray water. <laughs> so now 
We have frozen water in our drain as well. We have water in our sink and it won't drain. Not only do we not have water, we have water in the bus that we can't get out. But hey, tis the life living in a schoolie. It's all glamorous. Everything that you see on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook is all true. There's nothing ever terrible about this lifestyle. It's 100% always great all the time. 60% of the time, living in a bus is fantastic all the time. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Several days later. So, we got the water back on. Now, the drain line up front is still frozen, but I didn't want to see if the PEX lines were frozen because I think we are also having that issue. So let's see. Yay! Ah! Are you okay? So, uh, things just, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about the scream. <laughs> when I drain water into the sink in the bathroom, gross water comes out of the shower Ew. which can only mean that the pee trap underneath the shower which is outside is frozen so this drain leads to that pee trap and the drain and the shower both use the same pee trap so that pee trap is frozen okay when you say p trap is it like the letter p yes it's the letter p it's not like p like you have to pee no it's not like a urine trap <laughs> Because when you say P trap, that's all I can think of. It's, it's called like a, it's called a P trap because of the way it's shaped. Okay. That's good to know. Both the sink and the shower use the same P trap. This water is mixing with the gross gray water and just like not going past that P trap. Does that make sense? We're doing great over here. It's going awesome. Okay, so fixing the plumbing is gonna have to wait until tonight. We are leaving Tennessee and going back down to Mississippi, a little bit further south than we're used to, around Tupelo, Mississippi. I just hope that I can fix the plumbing issue at the state park without causing a disturbance for the neighbors. That's the pipe coming from the kitchen sink. And then that is the main drain right there. It's cracked all the way to about right there. So we got to replace that pipe right there and then get a inch and a half pipe to go from there over to this two inch drain pipe. I just have to go back to the hardware store and get some, God, I'm covered in mud, some fittings to make all that fit. It's warming back up. It's not gonna be freezing temps for the next 10 days. We're back to running water. We gotta fix this first. But today's moving day. So we're gonna move back down in Mississippi first and fix it there. Cross our fingers that nothing ha nothing else happens to the bus on the drive. You ready to hit the road? Yes! You are? Yes. Okay. Me too. After years with the Now that we're here, it's time to get this plumbing fixed so that we can actually start using the water inside. This spot is really nice because the bus sits kind of back. The back end is a little bit lower than the front. So spots like this are really sweet because there's zero problem with the water draining. But the next 10 days, the 10 day forecast doesn't show any freezing temperatures. So it wouldn't matter anyway. Do a little Plumbing at seven o'clock in the morning, and uh, we'll be good to go. To bring me up to full speed, your shades of blue hold 
God's feather wings and harps made out of golden strings. I get Done. No leaks. So I'm not really the hiking type today. I'm reminded the choices that we've made over the past two years of building the bus, just choices we've made to better our lives and to give the kids like a much more full life and something that they can look back on and cherish. But then sometimes you make choices that you regret. Like for instance, before we went on this hike, I considered taking a nap. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> 